Welcome to the Italian region of Le Marche, which is next to Tuscany. It is here in the city of Urbino that I start three days of wandering around, having a really good look around the region of Le Marche, certainly around the Urbino area, to see what it is that I can do with it. I've done a little bit of research, but not too much, and what I have done, I can't find a lot. It seems to be that Le Marche is one of those undiscovered gems in the country of Italy. So I have three nights here and I'm going to see as much as I can and have a look, good look around to see what is here. Certainly later on today, I'm going to come back to Urbino and I'm going to have a look around the city because from what I can see from the outside, certainly it looks stunning. So I'm going to carry on with shooting my images and then I'm going to get in the car and start having a drive around the region of Le Marche. The wonderful thing about coming to Le Marche is that it's such undiscovered country that when you're looking at the scenery around you or seeing things that you're just not seeing all the time because it's just not as popular as the other regions, some of the other regions that are here in Italy. And it's fantastic. I'm kind of lost for words just to understand why people aren't coming to Le Marche. It's beautiful. I just saw this scene out of the corner of my eye while I was driving along the main road and just was desperate to find somewhere to come and get it and I managed to find somewhere. So there's this beautiful hilltop village of I don't know where, I've had to put the GPS on on my 6D just to, just to actually geomark the place that I am because I've got absolutely no idea where I am and what I'm looking at. I was driving away from my hotel to the next location that I wanted to go to after breakfast and I went the wrong direction and wasn't really paying attention at all at the, the sat nav in the car. But I'm glad I did because I discovered this very nice and kind of intimate view of Urbino which is set on the hill behind me and um, I just looked at it and I thought that looks really nice and I actually like to time lapse it as well. So at the moment you probably can hear my camera clicking away every two seconds or so. The reason I've chosen an interval of two seconds is because there seems to be quite a bit of wind at the moment up here. I mean, I am at a bit of an altitude as well. And if I make it, say, five seconds, I think for me personally, I would find that the interval is just, it's making the clouds boil too much. So here, there'll be a nice gentle breeze, as it were, of the clouds going over the city of Urbina back there. So the wonders of taking the, the wrong direction in Le Marche. So, What's after this? Uh, I can't remember the name of it, um, but I'll certainly when I get to the, the city or the, the hilltop sort of village, I'll, uh, I'll vlog that as well. So you can see this beautiful, beautiful area of Italy. I've been having a good drive around Le Marche today getting completely lost, hopelessly lost, and not really caring because I'm just discovering a completely new region for me. And I've come across this abbey. It's uh, something that I'd marked on Google Maps, uh, a little personal map that I'd created. And I thought I'd just, just have a drive over and see what it looked like. It's just really nice out here, actually. It's just so quiet. There's a few tourists around, but certainly it's uh, way, way off the tourist trail, really when you, uh, basically, I think the nearest main road is probably about five miles away. I think the position that I'm in, just over the, uh, the ridge line of the mountain that's in front of me, is Umbria. It is pretty much on the border in the, uh, I think it's the northwest I'm in right now of Le Marche. So this abbey behind me, I think it's called Fonte Avalana when I looked at the map. So I'll have a look and if it is, I'll flick it up on the screen if I remember to do that when I'm editing, the, editing this video. I've got a kind of standard landscape style shot of the thing. It's probably the right time of day to get it as well because the sun is right up there above the ridge line and it's looking down onto the abbey at the moment. Now what I am going to do is uh, what quarter to four at the moment. I'm going to get a I'm going to go and get um, a panorama of that abbey. I've got a shot, as I said, and, but it's 
there's a bit of the blue sky in it, and it's okay, but I kind of want to do something a bit different with it. So I think I'm going to try a, a panorama of that abbey, excluding the sky, by just including the whole building itself, which will probably be around 17 by 6. It's about quarter past six in the evening and I've come back to Urbino and in the city of Urbino there's an old fort that you can go in. Now the problem is, is um, although it's a great view, it's actually only open from about I think nine o'clock in the morning or eight o'clock in the morning and then closes around seven o'clock. So it's impossible to get dawn or sunset here when I'm here but um, I've come back here because as you can see the light is just absolutely beautiful up here. So. I'm doing a time lapse and the sun is coming and going behind some clouds up there as you as you may be able to see as I'm talking. So I want to do a particular time lapse of this of this place as the view is of it is just absolutely fantastic of this old city. So um, I've got a four second interval here because it's actually moving really slowly at the moment, the wind. So unlike earlier where it was moving really the uh, the cloud itself was actually going uh, quite quick. This evening it seems to be going quite slow. So you see me closing my eyes it's because the sun is directly in my face but it's giving that nice natural lighting for for the shot so there you go it's the end of the day in Urbino once this is done I'm gonna going to see if I can maybe find something to eat for a change and then go and get the end of the day I've got somewhere scouted that may or may not work which we'll see but um, I just enjoy the view of the beautiful city of Urbino here in Le Marche. It's my last morning here in Le Marque and it's a, a belter of a morning as you can see behind me. The sky up there is going pretty wild which is great because yesterday was it wasn't the best day. I spent a lot of time driving around and actually got stuck or nearly stuck on a five kilometer long supposed road that Google Maps took me down and it took approximately an hour or so to get out of this track and I just couldn't go back or forth. It was just not the easiest day let's just say so what can i say about le marque it's just beautiful it's an undiscovered paradise for landscape photographers there's so much here to see and to do i've only just scratched the surface so certainly urbino is a fantastic city unesco world heritage site and then the surroundings as well i've just got to come back to this place so until that time, until the next time, thanks very much for subscribing. Thanks to all my old subscribers, all the new people that have come on board. And I'll see you again soon. And the next time will be in Martinique.